Hey there, and welcome back to Crystal Talks. It's Katie and Cynthia here today sharing another amazing and beautiful stone, even though I say that every week because they're all pretty magical if we think about it. Um, this stone is quite special. It is actually a man-made stone, and don't let that deter you because I know sometimes there's a stigma with man-made stones, but if you think of it in a different way and you think of it in how this was created. This was a piece of creation, a divine creation. You know, spirit sends us messages all the time through our intuition, in divine wisdom. And so the person that created this stone had a, a moment of divine wisdom channeled through them to create this specific stone, to have so much power and energy for us to use in our world. And there are so many man-made things that are quite amazing, like the Eiffel Tower, or the Statue of Liberty, or the Egyptian pyramids. All of these things were man-made through divine wisdom and creation. So this stone is no different. It was first created in 1972 by a French chemist, Pierre Gilson. And it is such a magical stone, absolutely one of my favorites. Cynthia, what are we talking about today? Now, yeah, it's one of my favorites too. Just looking at it is so calming, uh, but yet uh, just uplifting. I feel my vibration getting higher just looking at opalite. Um, beautiful, beautiful opalite. I, I love opalite. I love the colors in it. I love how it has that like translucent nature where, or yeah, translucent, opaque, where the light hits it in a different way and you get a different kind of color. And um, that really kind of goes to like, it works with all the chakras. It's a great stone to use for harmonizing your chakras, for balancing your chakras. But it can also be used pointed towards specific chakras based on those colors that you're seeing in it. Is it more like a milky white that you're seeing? Then maybe we're using it for the crown in that moment. But if you're seeing kind of that blue or purple or kind of other colors in it, maybe it kind of aligns with another chakra in that moment for you to harness it. Um, it's such a powerful stone of earth and air, kind of bringing those elements together, which creates balance in and of itself, since air is always up here and earth is always grounding down. Um, so such an amazing stone. Cynthia, what do we kind of know um, of benefits as opalite? Well, first of all, it's known as the stone of transformation, and that speaks to its power as far as I'm concerned. It is a great, a great for using to um, create clear communication. It's, it's wonderful in meditation for that as well, because it particularly is good for spiritual communication with your guides and, and uh, the, the, the higher beings. Um, by itself, it removes energy blocks, so it's great in working with uh, with your chakras. Uh, just looking at it, and in fact, I've got a piece of it right here. This is a worry stone that we have uh, on the site, and it, it just creates a feeling of peace and easing tension in the body. Uh, it also gives you protection and uh, brings courage to you know, help you get through those times of transition, um, stability happiness. Those are all things that you can get from uh, from opalite. Uh, great thing to, to have around, right? Absolutely. I mean, I, I love just looking at it. I have a bracelet on of opalite right now. I really just, I truly love opalite. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, maybe it's that transformation that it brings. Maybe it's the stability, the courage, you know, like I just really have always loved the energy of opalite. And you mentioned meditation. You know, one of the benefits is meditation. It can be great to meditate with opalite to encourage that inner peace, to encourage chakra harmony, feelings of hope. Um, you know, opal, which is a natural stone, has the and its energy of hope and optimism. And opalite is kind of made in opal's um made kind of like opal right it's made to look kind of like an opal and it pulls in that energy as well of hope and optimism of moving through your transformations with hopefulness and optimism and inner peace and um so great stone to use when you're 
you know, to meditate and kind of create those mindsets and feelings within yourself. Really, really such a great stone. I could go on and on about opalite. I just love it so much. Um, it also aligns with Cardia, the Roman goddess of doorways and entry. So opening up to that transformation, doorways opening, right? We sometimes get stuck in change, like a door is closing, but another door is opening. Another entry is happening. So such a great stone to use in those times as well. Um, Cynthia, how would you recommend us using opalite? Well, as we've talked about, it's a great one to hold during uh, meditation for that clear spiritual communication. Uh, it's one that you can place in uh, common areas of your home to bring more happiness into everyone. Uh, I like to keep it beside my computer for helping uh, reduce stress and more, you know, more clarity. A lot of times at your computer, you're trying to communicate and this will help you, you know, focus and get clarity in what you're trying to say. Um, wear it on a piece of jewelry or like you are, Katie, or keep it in your pocket for feelings of, uh, of serenity. Uh, and certainly, as we've talked about, use it in, in chakra work to remove those energy blockings, blockages. I'd, I'd also like to make a suggestion that if you have a time in your life when someone you know is transitioning into the, the afterlife, that this might be a wonderful gift, particularly for someone that's that's struggling. Uh, this really might be very helpful to to let them move on with with peace and and know that um, you know this this next part of their life will be incredible as well. Absolutely. That's a great notion, a great place to use this stone for sure. Embracing that transformation and transition. And um, you can also use opalite in your yoga practice for transformative movement. You're trying to create movement that is transformative to body, mind, and soul, moving those energy blocks, right? Allow that opalite to kind of guide maybe a self guided yoga practice where you're following your intuition and you're really creating movements to create transformation, to clear energy blocks um, within your movement. So we've really talked about this energy of opalite. We've talked about how powerful it is, you know, but you can always add to the energy of these stones, of these gems, man-made or nature-made we can always add to their energy by putting them with other stones, but also using them with essential oils, creating roller bottle blends, you know, pairing them up together to kind of use this magic of nature and harness this energy of the stone. So Cynthia, what essential oils could go really well with opalite? Well, you first you pick your intention. Uh, what are you trying to bring more of into your life? If you've watched these before, you've heard me say this many times, but that's where you start. Uh, if you're trying to create that feeling of peace and serenity, then lavender, sandalwood, copaiba are uh, fabulous for, uh, for that support. Uh, if you need protection, uh, clove, frankincense, juniper, protective blend, which is uh, called, uh, trade name is On Guard. Uh, for courage, I would look to helichrysum, ginger, clove, thyme. Uh, if you want to boost in the happiness department, um, maybe, like we said, place that, that opalite someplace in the house and run a diffuser with Melissa, wild orange, or grapefruit, or maybe a drop or two of each one. And then to uh, for that transition, uh, big or small, uh, rose, frankincense, and rosemary are, um, are good ones to start with. We will always encourage you to follow your intuition. These are oils to, to start with. I know they'll get the job done, but if your voice is telling you to try something else, then by all means, you should. Absolutely. 100%. Follow your intuition all the time. Um, Love lavender and sandalwood together as usual. Um, and that juniper berry really calls to me as well. I don't know. It's, just, it's one of those oils that I really just kind of am drawn to. 
Um, as we end today's video, I'd like to share some mantras that you can pair with Opalite. One is I connect to my inner strength and clear all blocks in my path. And this could be something like you use Opalite, you hold that Opalite worry stone and you meditate and you repeat the mantra to really activate that inner strength, to really open up your energy to clear the blocks that are in your path, um, to clear your mind, to open up. Another mantra is I am open to transformation. So of course they could be paired together or they could be used individually with that Opalite energy to really activate these energies within you. So like I said earlier, Opalite is truly an amazing stone beautiful stone and don't let it being man-made deter you because it's just a divine creation by man. It was a message sent by source of divine wisdom for someone to create this so we could have this stone in our world. Definitely an amazing, amazing stone to use. So if you have any questions about opalite or how you can use opalite, let us know comment below, send us an email, Cynthia at EWBMS.com. And of course, we would love for you to check out all the Opalite products we have on the site, EWBMS.com. We have worry stones like Cynthia showed you, some chips, some points, lots of great Opalite stuff on there for you. Anyway, we will be back next week with a, another crystal or info session or Zodiac fun whatever it might be next week. We will see you then. Until we see you, take care.